Right now, I'm standing at the entrance to where they hold the Burning Man Festival. It's pretty incredible to look at. Now, I have to admit, I've never been here before, and I had to ask for directions from one of the um, organizers. When you come to Burning Man, you're going to go through Gerlach, unless you come through Alturas, but most people come through Gerlach to get here. You're going to look for a sign. It's a pretty nice one. kind of sits down in a dip, a depression in the earth. But it says 8 Mile Playa Access. The Burning Man Festival, I think it takes place around September, but I'm not sure. So I would suggest that if you want to know more about it, look it up online and you'll learn everything you need to know. The entrance is past Gerlach, north of Gerlach. And uh, the road that you take is called 8 Mile Playa Access. This takes you down to the playa, and when the event is taking place, it's gated off, and they make sure everybody's got everything proper. The playa itself used to be a lake, and it's a dry lake now, of course, but when you look around the surrounding hills, you get a good idea of how deep that lake really was. And I would be standing under probably about 30, 40 feet of water where I'm at right now. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna turn it around, and uh, let you look at the sign to the entrance. And it's quite a long walk down to the actual playa. So what I'll do is I'll get video of what the access looks like, of what the lake, the playa looks like, which is a dry lake, and let you see that up close and personal. Then from here, we'll go on into Gerlach. That said, let me turn this thing around and I'll show you kind of what I'm looking at. And we'll go from there. How's that sound? I think it sounds great. Okay, here's the sign that has to do with the entrance. It's kind of hard to see from the road. You've got to be real careful and look real carefully when you approach it because uh, it took me a while to find it. But it's called Eight Mile Playa Access, Black Rock Desert, High Rock Canyon, Immigrant Trails. The immigrants used to come across this thing in their wagon trains, and oh, they had a hell of a time. So, you go around here, and you can see it from here. Here is what it looks like from a distance. Like I said before, this all used to be one giant lake called Ancient Lake Lahontan. That's what they've decided to call it. Those over there are sand dunes. And then behind me, if you look over here, don't know how much of this is being picked up, but you see those lines across the mountain there? That's the water level of what used to be the lake. Now that's a good point right there that demonstrates it. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna get in my car and drive down pretty close, but not on the actual playa. Because that's just not uh, not good. I don't have a four-wheel drive, and people get stuck out there on a regular basis. So, that said, let's get back in the car, and I'm going to drive down that road. And uh, we'll see what we can do. See what we can get. Yeah, see, best way out of here is the same way I came in. This way. Let's go out through here. One thing about out here you gotta be careful of, just like all of Nevada, you got rattlesnakes. So you gotta kinda watch your steps. Pretty amazing, huh? So let's go down that road and see what the play looks like up close and personal. Pretty good road going down to it. Gravel. Not bad. Not likely to get stuck out here unless you uh, veer off the road. 
lost my seatbelt. Annoying. So, at the entrance of the playa, there's a sign that is informational, and it says very clearly, you will be on your own. <laughs> so, there's a bit of a warning for you. Um, pretty neat out here. I'll show you what it looks like. We'll walk out there a little bit. And, uh, yeah, first I'll start with a sign, and then we'll head on in to a little bit of the playa, so I can kind of give you a perspective of what this place looks like. All right? Cool. Let's do this. Okay, here you go. This is a sign I was talking about. Welcome. You can pause this and take a look at it. There's what I was telling you right there but you're on your own. And here's the sign right here that tells you where you are. You are literally in the middle of nothing. They got maps. Let's see if they have any on hand. Oh, they do. Okay. Yeah. Playa. OHV information so they do have races and things like that out here that's kind of cool and uh you can get in information on the back i'm gonna take this because it's fun i'll grab it on the way out though put it back in there so let's head on down the road here and this is about where my vehicle is going to park I don't want to get stuck. I don't have four-wheel drive. So what do you say? We just walk on down and I'll show you what this place looks like. I have a drone, but it's a cheap one and it tends to wiggle in the wind. I need to pick up a better one if I'm gonna do any drone shots. This is the playa that I'm standing on. And uh, it's behind me, and boy, it stretches out for miles and miles. I don't know how much this is getting on here, because, again, it's a cheap phone with a cheap camera. I don't have the resources to get anything expensive. Not like a lot of these guys. But it's pretty cool. It's uh, pretty neat. The, the ground underneath what would be mud is white and I know that cars that come back, vehicles, campers, so on, that come back from this playa are covered with a white dust. I've never been here, like I said, but it's still, it's entertaining, it's educational, and it is so soft, I mean. So let me turn this around, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So my feet are really sinking in a lot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but uh, yeah. And then on this, underneath, here's a good spot right here. Underneath, there's this white ground like that. It goes from the mud into the ground. And when the moisture hits, this stuff turns real gooey. I think Matt's off-road recovery would have a great time out here. But he's way, way, way south of here. I mean, way south. This is Nevada. He's in Utah. Which, by the way, a plug for his channel. I suggest you check him out. He's a lot of fun to watch. But I can tell you right now, I'm glad I didn't just drive out here. Because this stuff is soft. It has been snowing and raining. And right now, it's snowing. It, well, not now, at this spot, but when I was talking to her, it was snowing. But look at this. So, for those of you wanting to go to Burning Man Festival, again, go online, check it out, check the dates, check out what's going on. 
as you can see I'm parked way up there because I don't want to drive in this I will get stuck it looks like there's people driving on this recently too and this part of the playa is pretty solid but it's still soft see you can see a road not necessarily a road but a pathway that several have taken now I can only imagine the kind of vehicles that would take this the ones with the big tires and the rock crawling type and four-wheel drive but this is absolutely beautiful I have never seen this like I said but it's fascinating that to think that these people come out here and they build a city a literal city out here where people come and you have to bring your own supplies but it's an interesting event and it's been going on around here for quite some time fortunately the winds not too bad right now so I think you get the picture the gist of what I'm talking about you got bushes here and there nothing spectacular as you can see there are no trees can you imagine Back in the 1800s, the pioneers coming across this thing, realizing that there's no water here. This is good enough, I think. I think you guys get the picture. Now this, anyway, this white dust, this, this mud turns into a white powder, and then underneath it is another whiter powder. I don't know. But it's pretty bad. And... When they rent vehicles, they pay an extra surcharge for cleaning. It clogs up filters, it clogs up uh, brakes, and it just it, it, it plays havoc on your vehicle. But this, this event, the Burning Man event, is worldwide. People come here from all over the world. And you see them when they leave, they're all covered in white dust. So that said, what do you say we get back to Gerlach? And... Uh, give you a little tour of that town because I decided to start my tour here at the Burning Man entrance what is going to be the Burning Man entrance and then go into Gerlach and head home from there let's get to the car and head to Gerlach I'm getting kind of hungry anyway they got a neat little saloon slash coffee shop restaurant kind of place that I've told has some really good food and that's where I'm going to go so I'll uh, catch up with you in Gerlach before I leave and head to Gerlach I thought it might be a good idea to just stand here a minute and give you guys a perspective on how desolate this is out here by shutting my pie hole and letting you hear the wind and look at the scenery how does that sound let's do that Pretty wild, huh? Quiet. You don't even hear any birds out here. So yeah, that said, that's done. Uh, I will include this with my Gerlach video, Gerlach tour, 
because Gerlach, there's not much there. And I mean, literally, there's not much there. But there's a place to eat. There's a place for gas. And I believe a small store. There's an interpretive center where you can get some information about it. And we'll stop there. And I'll give you some more info on Gerlach itself. But uh, let's get back in the car. And let's head to Gerlach, where I'm going to put some food in my belly. And then give you all a tour. Because to be honest, I'm hungry. I'll see you in Gerlach. Well, I just had one of the best hamburgers I've ever had in a long time. At the, uh, okay, what's it called? Bruno's Casino, Bruno's Cafe. Fantastic. So anyway, I am at Gerlach. They've had a little bit of snow while I was in there, a little bit of rain, a little bit of everything. So now I am at downtown Gerlach. I'm standing in front of the uh, park called the Water Tower Park. And we're gonna get around, we're gonna walk around and my first stop is gonna be up here at the uh, information sign, talks about the town. That'll give us a little bit of something about it. They do have a visitor's information, but it doesn't look that good. Somebody hasn't been keeping it up. So let's start over here at the Information Center. Yeah, it's called Bruno's Motel Cafe and Club. Great food, really good food. My hamburger was so much, I couldn't finish it. So here we go, Gerlach. This is uh, a little bit of something something that I'll turn around, you can read. But yeah, we're getting, the, we're getting some snow. It's passing through quickly, but we are getting snow. And then I'm gonna walk through town, which won't take long at all. So let's turn this around and uh, yeah, I'll show you where I'm at. So here is Gerlach between Black Rock Desert and the Smoke Creek Desert. Fremont traveled through here with the uh, Nepaiute lands, immigrant country. The town was established after the construction of the West. So this has started out as a, a railroad stop. As you can see from over here, this is the railroad right here. Kind of a hub. They got like four sets of tracks here. They're working on their visitors center. So they are doing some town improvements. We're gonna start by walking up here. At least it stopped raining. That's good. That's for the train. And look out over there, boy. I'll probably be driving through some snow. I'm okay with that. My car is not a four-wheel drive, but it is a front wheel. I've never had any problems with that, going through snow. So here we are at the Water Tower Park. That's where I'm parked. There's visitor information. It's the same sign that I showed you guys earlier. Same thing. So uh, let's take a look. And uh, we'll see where we're at. We'll do one side, then the other. How's that sound? Downtown is pretty much, let's see. Let's start down here. Let's go this way. Although, really, nah, you know what? Let's go this way. Pretty cool. That's an old building. That's about ready to fall down. And then we got right here. Yeah. Got a saloon up there. Here's that water tower I showed you earlier. Like I said, Gerlach isn't much, but it's got a certain charm to it. Right now I'm on this 
side of the road. Let's just get out of this guy's way. Check this stuff out. How cool is this? It's not a real bison. It's a uh, wooden replica, I think, or steel. I don't know. Then they got other little things going on here. Pretty cool. There's a bear's butt. I'm glad he's not real. There he is. Check out that beast. I'd like to find that in your, in your campsite. Okay. These are wooden cutouts of cowboys. There's a metal horse. That's kind of neat. Yeah. With a wagon attached. It's the Conestoga. Okay. So this is the replica. So that's cool. Back up a little bit so you can see it. And that's some kind of a vacant yard, I guess. Here's Joe's Gerlach Club. Not open. And another little saloon. Right there. And then across the street, you got all this. This is the Burning Man Gerlach office. Right there, look at that. I guess that's where they organize everything and get all that together for the burners. <clears throat> yeah. Pretty cool place, man. I like it. It's nice. This is pretty much, for the most part, the end of town. Over there is the post office. You can see where the flag is flying. And see, just past that white van, that's the post office. I'm not gonna go up there. And then, that's the end of town, really. So now we're gonna walk down to the other end. Like as you see, the edge of town's right there. I mean, where that blue building is and the brown building, that's it. It's railroad after that. Black Rock Saloon. So from this point, I'm gonna walk on through. Yeah, at least the rain and snow stopped. But I'll probably encounter some of that on the way home. From here, I'm just gonna go home. The mineral feature that I wanted to find, no one seems to know where it is or what, you know, where I thought it was, well, it's gone. Maybe, Maybe it blew up or something, I don't know. But uh, here's this. Whoever does this carving is real good at it. Check this stuff out. I'd like to meet him in the woods. Here's an old fire extinguisher. Boy, Rick's Restorations, I'd love to get their hands on this. And uh, here we go. Pretty neat place. A lot of little collectibles. That's a nice chest right there. I'd love to have that. Take that and restore it. Pretty cool. Pretty neat. Yeah. These old chests are awesome, man. I like them. I tell you, everybody I've met in this little town has been so friendly. I mean, just so, so friendly that it's like nothing I'd see in Reno. So, it kind of makes me want to live here. Okay. Let's get, oh, that's a cool chandelier. Look at this. Look, look, look at this thing. Isn't that cool? Yeah. They got an ice box back there. A lot of old stuff. This is a kind of an antique shop, I guess. I don't know. And then let's come up here. This building is about gone. We'll just take a walk. I'm glad it stopped snowing, though. 
it, it, it makes this walk a little bit better. Not that it would have stopped me, but my phone's not waterproof. Okay, we'll just walk on down. You're wondering what's across the street. Oh, check this, check this out, check this out. This is a fence made up of doors. Look at this. How cool is that? That's the lady's door right there. This whole fence is made up of doors. These are all doors that have been attached to the wood. If you never, if you fail, never give up. <laughs> I like that. If you get no as an answer, remember, no means no. Okay. Okay. But yeah, it's kind of cool, huh? I guess they have events out here or something in the summertime. That's pretty cool. I like that. Yeah. And this is, their gate is a, a door. This is, i never seen anything like this. I've seen fences made out of sticks in central Nevada. One of my videos, as, as a matter of fact, shows a fence made out of sticks. So, it's cool. Across the street, I'm going to show you this. The sign I showed you that talked about the reason for this town being here, it was a railroad stop. There's some buildings. Well, this is across the street. Absolutely nothing. Miles and miles of nothing. I love it out here. Beautiful day today. I mean, yeah, it's cold, it's snowy, but you know what? I'm out and about and having a great time. That's what counts. Look at this. This is a miners club. That has got to be an old sign. Look at that thing. That's an old sign. That there is worth a dollar or two. Okay. And uh, we'll go down here. I like how they design even the newer buildings to look old. There's a, it's not really a business, so private property. The motel that's attached to this place, Bruno's, is right there. I guess there's people probably that stay there full time. Yeah, we'll just walk down here a little bit. But I thought I'd spread a little dough around and have a hamburger, have something to eat. I gotta show you the phone booth. See, there's Bruno's Country Club. The sign shaped like Nevada. Look at this phone booth. Look at this thing. How cool is that? <laughs> Look at that. Stickers from all these travelers, all these people. It doesn't get any cooler than that, man. Inside and out, my word. Yeah. All over the place. That's cool. Stickers from people that are travelers. Okay. More on this side. Yeah, you can't beat that stuff, man. There you go. That says it all. Fun stuff. Okay. But yeah, this place, really friendly, good food. I highly recommend it. If you're ever in Gerlach, I suggest you stop in there and spread a little of your wealth. That space there is reserved for Bruno himself. I guess he's still living. And then he got a home right here. home or used to be a business as you can see there's not a whole lot of activity like this is the highway route 47 447 
Here's south towards Reno, and here's north towards wherever you want to go. So let's keep walking. Check this place out. Pretty cool. And folks, that's pretty much about it. That's it. Like I told you, there's not much here, and I think that's the gypsum plant. There's one further down to it, Empire. So the gas station is further down, but that's pretty much the only business. And uh, so that's it. That's it. I think that pretty well concludes the tour of downtown Colac. I know it's more than you expected. It's a little awe-inspiring, but you know, it's fun. It's fun. You got to get out and visit these places. You got to give them some money. They've got to survive too. So, uh, I think on that, I'm going to conclude this video. I'm going to call it a day. Head back into Reno. Oh, what a horrible thought. And uh, yeah, I think that's it. So. Let's see here. That's about it. All I can think of right now. So again, if you're ever in this area, stop in at Bruno's and spread a little money around. They could always use it. So folks, I hope you enjoyed the tour. I hope you enjoyed the uh, view of the Black Rock Desert, the playa, and where the Burning Man Festival takes place. <clears throat> like I said, if you're interested in it, I'm pretty sure you gotta book that like, oh my God, a year in advance or something. So if you're interested, check it out. It's called Burning Man Festival, or just type in Burning Man and you'll find it. And uh, yes, it's nice. <laughs> On that, I'm at a good point right here where I'm just going to give you a quick little panning shot of the town. And uh, then I'm going to get back in my car. There you go. A little bit of something, something for you. A good panoramic shot. The other side of the street. Over here. Oh, whole lot of nothing. Now I'm told by those who have traveled through the desert on this that if you want to make it safely, you follow the road next to the train tracks and that'll take you right into uh, civilization. I think Wadsworth, but I'm not sure. So, yeah. Come here, spread a little money around. These people need it. And uh, that place was awesome over there. I like that. Unfortunately, the only thing open really is Bruno's. Oh, and the uh, Block Rock Saloon. So on that, I think it's time to climb in my little wagon and go home. Before I leave town, there's one more thing I got to do. I got to show you the city limit sign that introduces you to Gerlach. You'll like this. Every town's got their little slogan, their motto, their that talks about them. So now you're going to see something else that uh, this is Gerlach. This is the sign. So. Prepare yourselves.
There it is. Welcome to Gerlach, the fastest town in the West. Population wanted, sometimes. Elevation, 3,942 feet. Gerlach, more than just a pretty name, it's the center of the known universe where the pavement ends and the West begins. The potluck capital of the world, five, no four, no three bars, no churches, no wars. Is it October yet? <laughs> you gotta love it. So that's Kerlac. That's their city sign. It's fantastic. Now, I thought I had my camera on, so I gotta go back through town. So I wanted to give you guys a, a driving view of uh, the town. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back all the way to the northern edge and drive through show you what the town looks like as you're driving through. Uh, don't blink, you'll miss it. But it's, this, is, this is a cool place. This is a cool, I, I wouldn't mind living here, to be honest with you. But there's not much here. Uh, you'd probably end up staying at that motel. So let's do that. And this time I'll make sure I got the camera going. Yeah, I know, I forgot to turn the button on. So, oh well, it is what it is, right? So let's do that, I'm gonna get back in the car. And we're going to do this again, take two, on driving through town to get a good driving view. Let's do this. I got to show you a piece of artwork that is way too cool. Check this out. Tell you, for a small town, they're really into art and being creative. Okay. There's that. A little bit of roadside view. There's those uh, buffaloes and the bears and all that stuff. And maybe this would be a better view. I don't know. Here's that house. This is kind of like the main street, and there's, the businesses are only on this one side, really. There's that fence line I showed you. But this is uh, downtown. There's a motel. It's a pretty big motel. There's Bruno's Country Club. Good food. Friendly staff. almost at the end of town. Town pretty much ends at the gas station. It's a nice house. There's the other section of Bruno's Motel. As far as renting housing, I think this is pretty much about it. I think a lot of railroad people live here. Here's the gas station, and that pretty much marks the end of downtown. So,
that's about it. That's downtown. So again, I hope you enjoyed the video. I hope you enjoyed the tour. Uh, seeing where the festival is, the Burning Man Festival. Now look at this. I want to give you the perspective of that playa. There's nobody behind me. So this is the playa. Check that out, folks. Look how flat that is. Look, I mean, there's people out there like in Switzerland and Great Britain who couldn't possibly even imagine something like this. And once again, thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next tour, the next video, whatever it is I decide I want to do. I don't have a niche. I, I, I don't have a specialty. I don't do bush camping. I don't do extreme hiking. I do what I want to do. A lot of this stuff is touristy, and a lot of it is places that uh, I like to go. I've been to as a truck driver, and now I'm visiting on a more casual basis. So I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you decide to subscribe, and I hope you hit the like button and uh, make a comment on what I could do better, what could or what I could do that would make the video better. There you go. As you can tell, it's unscripted. And uh, yeah, I'll see you on the next one. Bye-bye. Have a good day.